probably turn that light on. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. We are in the shop today. Sir Lauren from Loli's Off-Road is back and we're doing a little bit of troubleshooting on the ambulance and he's also installing the transfer case and stuff like that on here today and hopefully making this thing a drivable beast. But there's something in my shop right now that hasn't been in here before. That thing. It's the very first time the new van's been parked in here. And boy, am I stoked on that. This is why I did this. Bada boom. Now Lauren's got all the light he needs. Hello, pretty girl. So if you guys are new around here, the engine inside of this 2000, 2003 Ford E350 ambulance, we pulled the engine out in this thing and painted it lime green. Yeah, that is the engine that's inside of here. What, <laughs> what a beautiful masterpiece that thing is and all we got left to see is some of the little tidbits that are poking up over top but that's where taking the doghouse off we get that brief moment to say hi to that masterpiece every once in a while so you guys look right there the paint's coming off the manifold there and uh the primer that's underneath it's silver got really nice silver like I should have just did the whole thing well maybe all the black will come off and this whole thing will just be silver um, but yeah next time I ever do that kind of stuff I'm definitely just gonna gonna keep the primer part of it like this stuff went on really well it was the top coat layer and I don't even think the let me check on that There's the green and then the primer high heat flame proof so that's right so the VHT um, flame proof which went on the manifold that top coat layer came off the VHT primer which is like a shiny chrome like silver it stayed on and that silver is a pretty good color so yeah next time if you guys ever do that kind of stuff you guys maybe uh, maybe not do the top coat on the flame proof one and just stick with the shiny primer why we this why that's why we have so many of these sir oh, if you need a little you. power Yes. There you go. Power on the oh, move. Man. Push that little button, but a bang. So what's been going on with the ambulance is it's had a, a hard start and we put brand new everything in here. All the relays are new, all the sensors and stuff are new. And uh, initially we kind of did some troubleshooting to find out if it was the, the um, performance chip that went in here and everything on that side seemed to look okay. So what Lauren's in here doing today is checking any relays, any sensors, running codes to find out if anything is going on on the external side. But we bought OEM Ford parts for all of those little sensors because we're trying to avoid problems like this one from buying aftermarket ones. So you never know, maybe from Ford, we got a faulty sensor. That's what Lawrence here today, hoping to put a solve to this problem. We are trying to find out why it does it only when it's cold, right? Because that's that's the problem. Only when it's cold, it's uh, having a hard start, you know? And we never had that issue before, but something in, in the process got lost, something went wrong. And we have to figure out if it's actually the chip himself or some sensors down something, or even the relay from the glow plugs. We got special delivery. Oh, you, oh, you look good today. Thank you. Always look good. Thank you, Amy, for the delivery of the coffee. But now coffee break is over. Back to troubleshooting. So next thing Lauren's working on is this thing right here. That's a transfer case. I took the wirings all unplugged because the reason we changed this, right? It was a an electric shift. And we're going to manual it's just 
more reliable and you know no issues you don't want to get stuck in the bush if you guys aren't following lauren's channel his channel's name is hold on it's on the back of his ambo here it's lowly's off-road let's go see if we can find sir cruzy bear he's always standing around here finding a nice little spot in the sunshine somewhere hey you're enjoying your nice little spot in the sun you got a little bug in your leg buddy there you go <laughs> he's sun tanning enjoy your sun tanning cruzy You did it all by yourself? No, Jack, no, nothing, bro. You could have asked for some help, bro. No, but I just wanted to see. I done it before by myself. If I still got it. <laughs> I still got it, man. Right, because it's gonna have the shifter here, and then the way the shifter goes, it's hitting somewhere here, and it's gonna be from this position somewhere here. Okay. You know, it's not gonna be a big throw, right? Because it's just moving this guy back and forth, and you know. Stuff like that, right? Or we can just make Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> Bluetooth would be awesome. <laughs> That's the hey Siri, engage four wheel drive. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Right? <laughs> Fingers crossed. You were under there tickling her belly for a little yeah, while today. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I'm out of the shop for a few hours driving into Campbell River because I have a dentist appointment. No, that doesn't sound exciting at all because it's not. Today is supposed to just be a look-see appointment, but I have some teeth that need crowns, and I have a cavity on one of my one of my uh, front side teeth here that cracked off a few months back, and they just want to make sure that that one doesn't need a crown also. So I don't know. We're going to the dentist. Yeehaw! <laughs> See that all that white stuff right there? Uh, we're in Fanny Bay, BC, and down through here is a lot of places that uh, harvest and process oysters. There's a lot of oysters in our ocean around here. And yeah, that's what these things are. All those are all oyster shells. Oh, I got a friend on the road. There's a deer. Oh, there's another one. Any more? Any more in your crew? That's it. <laughs> What's up, buddy? So you have some progress or what? Oh, yeah, man. So what was the problem? So the problem was the cables, when they got all switched and all that, the cable got put in the wrong place. Oh, damn. Yeah. All that over one cable. Mm-hmm. It's my, it's my smile a little lopsided. It feels like this side is just dead. <laughs> I am stoked that all of this stuff is complete and done. We need to grab these because Lauren's spoiling me rotten outside. And you can't have what he's doing without a beer. Hey, bro, I thought I'd deliver this. I figured if you're going to fire up the barbecue, it's a barbecue oh, yeah. without a beer. Thank you. He's like, you gotta get through me first. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You just impatient? <laughs> the daddy's cooking the meat. I eat my meat raw. He's wrecking it, dad. No, he's making it good, bro. Trust me. 
You'll take a bite and you'll, you'll, you'll be so happy you waited. Yeah, you're gonna lick your lips. <laughs> you're so cute, little buddy. Put my sign back out. I think we got one more delivery coming in. I gotta say, man, I love that guy. Lauren is such a good hearted person and a hard worker. And I don't know what this shop would be like without having him here on my team. So Lauren, thank you, bro. Sometimes I feel like when you leave here, I don't say thank you enough to you for everything that you do and always caring about me by bringing me food thank you to the lovely lady sometimes for contributing to that and taking care of uh the beast here and all of our vehicles here in the van city van life posse lauren you are a damn rock star and to everybody who's not following him go follow his youtube channel it's lowly's off-road and overland i'll, I'll link it for you guys down below my face, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting better. So this cart here, I wanna eventually turn into a full-time tool cart for Lauren when Lauren's at the shop. That way it's got everything he needs all in one spot. Feels so good to wrap that project up. Where's my dog? Where's my doggy dog at? Where's my doggy dog at? You ready to go home, Cruzy? Hey, are you ready to go home? I am, buddy. Come on, let's go. Bye-bye, Vans. See you soon. Spider's on. I love it that it's still light out at 8 p.m. This is what makes me just want to go start traveling like right now. Travel season, little buddy. Just go travel season. <coughs> oh my gosh. Well, my mouth feels better. No more, no more frozen face. They got bottles of water everywhere, Cruzy. Such a mess. We got laundry, put in the laundry cupboard. I'm gonna throw that bag in the laundry cupboard too. So my summer travels are being delayed. For good reasons and while it's summer travels being delayed is bad news anyway around but for good reason it's 19 degrees celsius inside the van and uh what's it at 10.9 degrees celsius outside so my summer travels are being delayed by a little bit due to some dental work that i need to have done today they fixed up a cavity right here on this side it, a cavity broke and broke a tooth out and it got sore the other day so he fixed that up i have another uh, anyway i have two crowns that need to get done before i start traveling this year so i have an appointment in may and also in early june to get those crowns finished and taken care of so as soon as the dental work is done we can hit the road this year but that doesn't mean we're sitting at the shop for the next month oh heck no I only have a couple more things to do at the shop. Then Emily's bringing her van in in about a week and a half maybe or so, two weeks. And I'm tackling the rust repair on her van. The bottom of Emily's van is rotting to pieces and we're cutting the entire bottom out of her van. All of it. Every bottom rocker all the way around that thing without a doubt will have to be chopped out. So I have that to do before I can start traveling. Well, before my dentist appointments anyway. 
So this year, summer travel, Emily's going to take off ahead of me and probably about a month and a half after her, maybe I'll catch up with her somewhere in northern BC somewhere. Really not too sure yet, but yeah, summer travel is a bit delayed, but good news today. The engine on the ambulance is officially finished. And I can't believe that the starting problem was just a faulty wire. It was a wiring problem in the system. And Lauren figured that out today while I was getting my teeth. You know. So thank you, Lauren, for all your hard work. And I appreciate you being a part of our team. And to everybody watching, thanks for being here. None of this would ever be happening if all of you didn't press play every day. I feel honored that you are all here and I love sharing every part of this crazy van life journey of mine with you guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.